What is going on everyone? Reef Saloon here and today I'm going to be giving you a t tank update. So this is tank update number two. And um, I'm just going to be telling you what new is happening with the tank and what is going to happen. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you um, I have, I got Chato Morpha. It's in the back. I don't know if you can see it. It's, you can see the little stringy things. It's been getting light from the tank during the day. And at night I have a separate light in the back. That is uh, giving it light so the pH stabilizes at night. Um, so I still have five Nosaurus snails, two hermit crabs, uh, two maroon clownfish, and one coral beauty angelfish. Speaking of coral, there will be some an unboxing of a couple corals coming up very soon. Since it is the holiday, it should, it should be here um, either Tuesday or Wednesday because they do not ship on Sundays and Mondays and I'm assuming it's going to ship out Tuesday and uh, be here Wednesday. There's overnight shipping, they do that with pretty much all corals and all livestock you buy online. Um, uh, I've ordered it from saltcritters.com they're really cheap prices and it's pretty much what I could afford. So I've been looking at the corals for the past couple of weeks and I'm really excited about the couple corals I got. I'm not going to tell you exactly what I got, um, but it's just, it's going to be fun. Uh, so, what else is there? Ooh, I got, um, I got, uh, coral, coral reefing products, Tisby pods. So now I have a population of copepods growing in the tank. I don't know if you can see. It says, uh, premium live Tisby pods by Seahorse Sam. Um, it pretty much tells you uh, what temperature to keep it at. And um, so I now have a population of copepods and they really like the low flow areas because I'll see a lot of them sort of latch onto the glass and um, I poured them right into the back with the chato. So they live back there and the angelfish and stuff like that can't get to them. So they have a population and uh, they will be sustained there in this tank. Um, and so far everybody seems happy. I think one of my hermit crabs is currently molting. Because he is kind of just staying in one spot. And he did that a couple weeks ago. And he like stayed in one spot, didn't move for a couple days. And then one day I found like a shell looking body of it on the sand. And I was like, that's terrifying. But, um, yeah. So, I, when I got the Tisby Pods from Coral Reefing Products, sorry, I'm all over the place in this video. But once I got it, I, got, I also got Gold Phyto. That's going to absorb any ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and it's going to provide food for the copepods and any, uh, and any other uh, organisms that are in the tank. That are like microscopic stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Still have two marguerite snails, five nasarius, two hermit crabs. Um, I'm starting to notice a lot of blue, or not blue, Jesus Christ, purple, <laughs> coming up on the rocks. And I'm pretty sure that's um, what's it called, uh, coralline algae. And I'm actually really, uh, really psyched that it's coming up this quick because I really didn't expect it. I'd expect it to be at least, uh, like five months before it's starting to come on and it's turned into a month and it's already, uh, Coraline is already starting to grow. Um, you can notice my angelfish picking at the rocks here and there. That's because there's coke pods on the rocks and, um, they like it, so... That's good for the copepods. Copepods get food. So they go in the refugium. Copepods come out, eat, s settle on the rocks. Uh, angelfish eats, eats copepods. Uh, it's a cycle of life, pretty much. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give you a little update uh, on my parameters. I'm using Liquid Test, the Master Reef thing. And I'm using for a quick, uh, like, don't have time to do it the easy strip tetra six and one aquarium test strips and um it's for salt water and fresh water and it comes in this thing so you peel off the back and it shows you fresh on this side and then salt on this side 
I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but if you can't, this is salt, this is fresh. And um, so really what you want to do is you want to dip it in, uh, pull it out, wait 30 seconds, and then test. So that's what I'm going to do. So I can tell you right now that the pH is at 8.4, which is ideal. The nitrite is 0, and nitrate is 0. So that's good.